All right, we are back for our second segment tonight. And in this social media session, we have Jared. And Jared, Instagram. Yes. We've heard about it. (laughs) Instagram. We have heard about it. Some people love it. Some people are confused by it. Some people don't think it's, they think it's a fad. It's not a fad. It's not a fad at all, and uh, there's multiple reasons. Um, the, the biggest reason, in my opinion, is it's connecting with too many women on too large of a scale. It's, it's visually stimulating. It's like the instant Pinterest. That's, that's how I classify Instagram, is it's the instant Pinterest. So are you on Instagram? I am, John? actually, and, and we, we were kind of talking a little bit about connecting accounts last week. And the connecting of Instagram was one of our biggest changes in 2016 was yep. making that connection because once Facebook purchased Instagram and they were showing that preferential treatment to that, mm-hmm, it was mm-hmm. huge. Oh, yeah. You, oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Well, we knew it was coming, though. That's the big thing that, for whatever reason, people didn't think that was actually going to happen. But once Facebook bought Instagram, even though it took them a little while to do it, it's the the integration between them is phenomenal and if you really look at the back end data of what they're doing and how they're merging everything together i'm going to i'm just going to call it right now i'm going to say in the next year and a half there it's i i think instagram is i think it's still going to have the name but it's going to feel more facebook than its own standalone type of a service interesting i i've wondered about that if they were going to combine and and kind of consume or, or bring it in, or if they were going to stay it at two. So that'll be an interesting. At, yeah, financially, I don't think that they would do that. I, I think Zuckerberg, it, like, and I talk about him like I know the guy personally, um, but I, I think he's too smart of a guy to just take something completely away from the masses. Um, so, I mean, here's some stats for you. This is, this is some recent stats from as recent as February 2nd of this year. Um, on Instagram alone, there's over 600 million active monthly users. Um, 400 million are daily active users. Um, 150 million of them are now using the stories feature, which we'll talk about tonight. Uh, let's see here. Probably what's going to be focusing for us more than anything else in if you're trying to sell yourself and reach out, if you're in the wedding industry, you're just trying to connect with the female audience. Out of all of those people, 49% of all users are females above the age of 21. So out of all of those people, if you're not on Facebook and you, I'm sorry, if you're not on Instagram and you know who you are, you should be because it's a massive market that you're missing out on uh, with the stories features, with the photos features, with the videos features. Anyway, that's yeah. that's my two cents as to if you're not on if you're not on Instagram, you should be. Uh, it's 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 a, it's a it's not a game changer. It's a game enhancer, in my opinion. Sure. So um, uh, we were talking a little bit, John and I were chit chatting, and we thought it might be fun to just walk through the entire process of setting up an Instagram account, taking a look at what you can do, things and and ways that you can use your Instagram uh, account, talk about the stories feature, uh, talk about all the little minute details that go into Instagram. So if you watched last week and you were like, I have no idea what he's talking about. (laughs) And that's okay. That's okay. But if you're, if you're like that, if you're that guy or that girl that was watching Tonight's going to be your night. Tonight is going to be the night that you're going to be able to walk through this step-by-step with me and we'll create an account. Uh, I'll show you how hashtags work because that's kind of the, the, the fuel behind Instagram. That's how you really connect with everybody else out there in the Instagram world. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, we'll take questions throughout the entire time. Just like last week, I'm sure John's watching the YouTube channel right now. Yep. And, yes. um, I, you know, as we walk through this, this week, I want to go a little bit different. If you have questions and John, if you see questions pop up, ask them as we go. And we can definitely talk about it as we, uh, as we hit all of those, those different moments. Perfect. All right. So, uh, John, do you have anything that you want to ask before we get started? I think we're good. Let's let's get get on with it. Because so once we get into it, there's there's questions I have already with what you'll be showing a little bit later. Ah, perfect. All so. right. So, um, 
Let me jump over here to there we are. this is my tablet. Uh, hopefully you guys are going to be able to see everything. We okay. Are. Yes, we are full screen and such. So I think it should look pretty decent. Perfect. All right. So um, I am doing this. Let me go ahead and clear my notifications real quick. All right. So I'm going to set this up as a very default very, very, very default Instagram account. So I've already set up a fake uh, uh, email account called Jared. Wait, you know what? Let's go back one step. Let's go back to, come on, go, go back, go back. It's going to make me do it this way for some bizarre reason. All right. All you have to do is go to your respective Play Store or App Store, and you're going to search for Instagram. We'll go all the way back here to the beginning. Instagram. There it is. Now, of course, it's already installed in my, in my tablet. But uh, if you scroll down, there's normally a couple different apps that you have that go along with it. Instagram Layout. Um, that is an app that designs picture grids. That oh, you yes. Can I've use. seen those. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's a, that's a great app. I use that. Uh, actually, I use that, that exact app every week when I do my weigh-in. Uh, I've been on this big diet health kick, and that's how I make my little layout for updating that. Boomerang is a fun little app that uh, is was created by uh, Instagram. Basically, it takes a, I think, like a three or four second video clip, and then it just plays it forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards. So those are two additional apps that you can use to enhance your Instagram ability. Um, if we get through this tonight real quick, I can show you kind of what those look like. But... For what we're going to do, we're going to talk about Instagram. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Instagram. <clears throat> Instagram, by the way, does not work in landscape mode. So even if I tilt this sideways, it's it just will not go into landscape mode. Right. So in order to set up an account, the only thing that you really have to have is a phone number, an email, or that or a Facebook account. We're going to pretend like we don't have a Facebook account and we don't have a phone number. Uh, I'm going to use a fake email that I created just a little while ago called Jared Wade. I'm just going to turn off my heater too. Uh, Jared Wade test email at gmail.com. And then, I'm sorry. Before I do that, I have to create it. At the very, very bottom, it says, don't have an account, sign up. I use it so much that I just want to log right in and get right into it. <laughs> so sign up with email or phone. That is where we're going. So I'm going to click email. I'm going to put in my test email that I just wrote out. Jared Wade. Test email at gmail.com. We're going to click next. I'm going to put in my name, Jared Wade, and I'm going to create just a fictional password. Trust me, folks, if you try to hack me, you're not going to figure it out. This is the most generic password that I can think of, which is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Oh, <clears> that's, that's, that's way above the security of my password. It, well, I, yours starts at two, doesn't it? It goes two, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, nine, one, zero. That's how you do yours, right? Precisely. Uh, we, we just watched Spaceballs a couple of nights ago. So when you're, when you're <laughs> and the password one, two, three, is, four, five. What? That's what kind of an idiot? That's what you have for luggage. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. It's amazing. It's on my luggage. No. All right. So your password. Well, my password. Hit next. Oh, it's not even going to let me do that. See a little pop-up up there? This is a common password. Try something that's harder to guess. Oh, my goodness. All right. How about we put John's friend? Hey, that worked. All right. So <laughs> It's not common because of... John, John I'm sorry, John. Mad. You don't have enough <laughs> friends. <laughs> Uh, next week is going to be therapy for John <laughs> exactly. Tune in Wednesdays at 1045. Uh, okay. So after you put your email in there, you're going to create your username. Your username can really be anything that you want it to, to be, and you can always change it later on. So for the sake of tonight, I'm just going to create an account that is, uh, Jared Instagram two. 
Jared Instagram too is going to be my username. Uh-huh. I'm going to click next. And apparently there's already somebody out there with the Instagram username, Jared Instagram too. Interesting. That's, that's really wild. <sighs> I wonder, I wonder, let's try this. How about socially mobile? DJ and TV. Hey, that one worked. There we go. All right. Now it's going to ask you if you're, if you're already logged into Facebook, it's going to ask you, Hey, do you want to connect with Facebook? Because you're going to be able to follow a whole bunch of people right off the bat. You're not going to have to search for a whole, a whole plethora of time. I'm going to skip that though. So I'm still going to hit skip once again, because granted it is more fun to follow people. Um, It's going to look through my contacts. If I want to, um, if I want to connect with them, I'm going to hit clear all just so they don't get confused and hit next. I know it's more fun when you have friends, but for right now, we don't want to do that. Um, here is where I can add my profile photo. It's a step-by-step feature. So let's just, I'm going to take a photo right now of my, of my face. There we go. Man, that's a good looking picture. That is a fabulous picture. And then it'll ask you to crop, mm-hmm. crop your face. Do, 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 do. It's such a good picture. It's having a hard time keeping up. It is. That's really what is going on right now. Oh, come on. Don't freeze up on me. Don't freeze up on me. What's really sad is that the app that I'm talking about that is designed for photos and videos is struggling to upload a photo. Mm-hmm. That is what cracks me up about technology. It is going to work perfectly one time and it's never going to work the same way after that. All right, I'm going to close you. I'm going to close you. I've closed okay. Instagram. You got to come back in. I'm going to I'm going to come right back in. Basically, after you upload your photo, by the way, um, it will uh, it'll ask you, I think, one more question, and then take you into Instagram, which is what we're looking at right now. So you can always find your friends wherever you're at. Um, down here at the on the bottom, you're going to see five different options. You'll have your home key. So whenever any time that you hit that home button, it'll take you back to where your friend or where your main thread, where your feed is at. You have a search icon and the search field. I'm not a big fan of what they what they auto populate because it's normally a bunch of like celebrity crap. I, I really don't like this stuff. Yeah. I never ever look at it, but you can search at the very top. You can search for people if you would like to. Uh, let's see here. DJ and TV. Do you have, is it? No, is just it Jockey under, News. Just Jockey News? Yeah, okay, just Jockey so News. Jockey News. There you are. Oh, look at you. You got all kinds of cool pictures. Now, once you find an account, you can always just click contact if you want to con- connect with uh, with this Jackie News directly. You can tell how many posts he's racking about five seventeen. He's got a good amount of followers, fifty eight hundred followers, and but he's only following one hundred eighty one, which is a good balance. You kind of always want more followers than people that you're following. Um, my accounts, I normally follow a lot of people much more than I have followers, but we're gonna follow John or Disc Jockey News. And then we'll head on back and I'll show you what your feed looks like when you hit the home button. It'll show you the most recent photos from everybody that you're following. So anytime that you log in, you're going to see, well, here's, here's his most recent one. It was uploaded four days ago. Four days ago? Yeah. Four days ago? I've been busy. Four days ago? Remember when we talked about later? You gotta schedule stuff daily, man. <laughs> I know. I was I have it set up and it's it's set up for a different account. <laughs> oh, you're killing me, Smalls. What is going on here, man? Um so so just jockey news, 83 likes. That's a good amount of likes. There's nothing wrong with that. And you can click on the likes where it actually has little hearts where it says 83 likes, and you can mm-hmm. see everybody that liked it. This is a great way to find and follow or connect with people that share interests. So sure. you could find other DJs, you could find developers, uh, like right here, 
you know, he's obviously talking about, is that the uh, 8,000 or the 7,000? 7, 7, that's the 7,000. Yep. So, you know, everybody that's checking this out probably has some interest in DJing, music, uh, might be uh, a developer through Denon or anything like that. So you could follow a few of them if you want to. You know what? Let's just do that. We'll just go boom, 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 boom. These people are going to be like, who is this? Who is this guy? So what is that's... that? I can't see what the word is. I got to move the screen over. Oh, uh, the word requested, for okay. yep, requested. So these people have their 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 accounts private. So it's not a it's not a uh, you can follow and then that's it. It is it's being requested. And also sometimes when you set up a brand new account, it you have to get some some credibility before you can just do anything that you want. So sometimes you can't just follow a whole bunch of people right off the bat. Uh, they'll ding you as a as like a as, as a marketer or yep. as a spammer, and you don't you don't want to do that. So you really want to find people that are real and that you're going to have a good connection with. There's nothing wrong with growing your audience and growing who you follow slowly. There's nothing wrong with that at all. So uh, and, and of course you're using hashtags correctly. So we'll we'll hit that here in a little bit. So that is the search feature, pretty straightforward. If you notice at the top, there's a a, a bar that has little circles on it. Um, there's my story, there's new. If you do search, here's some additional stories. You can scroll left and right to, to take a look at uh, like the, the Mets. Uh, a story is basically, uh, when you upload something to your story, it's, it's very, very similar to Snapchat where it will only stay on there for 24 hours and then it's going to disappear. Um, I have, I'm gonna be really honest with you, I've struggled with stories the same reason why I struggle with Snapchat, which is it's disposable. And a lot of the content that I put out there, I, I like for it to be out there and be able to be viewed for longer than just one day. Yes. So um, for celebrities, it works out great because they, they have 20 or 30 or 50,000 followers. People can see, oh my gosh, they ate Cheerios for breakfast. Or, oh my gosh, Celine Dion actually, you know, can't sing that high C when she's in the shower or whatever else. I don't, I, I, I'm having a struggle with the stories aspect, but what you can do in stories is, is actually kind of fun and kind of cool. So we'll talk about that again here in a, in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Back down there on the bottom, you have a little plus symbol. That is where you can upload the photos that you would like. So I'm just kind of scrolling through here. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Here's a little picture that I want to put on there. Once you select your, your photo, actually, you know what? I want to do this one instead. Once you select the photo that you would like to have, you have a few different options. In the bottom left-hand corner, you have a little expand or, or a decrease button, and that'll expand or decrease the size of your photo. So you can make it a full one-by-one -one ratio, or you can do the normal landscape uh, picture. Uh, on the right side, and if, if you pinch, you can also pinch to zoom if you want to make a modification for a very specific, if you need to move it over or anything like that, you can do all of your adjustments on the fly. On the bottom right hand corner is where you can choose if you uh, want to do a, a boomerang or your, it's basically quick links for to download those other two apps that we were talking about earlier. Sure. So here's the picture. I want to get this nice and close up here to showcase a, a kick button treasure by hunt. The blue. I'm sorry? A big victory by the blue team. It's close, but if somebody brings up a picture of a pet as well as a redhead, the green team could come very, very quickly back ahead. So it's anybody's game, and there's still a minute and 46 seconds left on the clock. So we're going to click Next. And this is where this is where what made Instagram the fun tool for most females under the age of you know 38, 39, 40 years old, okay. which is the filters. Our Instagram was the originator of the filter. So there's a plethora of filters. There's normal. There's things that brighten it up. And if you want to make it black and white, I mean, there's just so many different types of filters that are available that you can choose from. Um, on top of the filter, on the bottom right, there's an edit button. You can click that edit button and you can fine tune it even more. This right here is the reason why photographers flock to Instagram. They can really make their pictures look as beautiful as they want. You could do adjustments if you want to. Let's see here. I want to go like that. You could do adjustments 
Um, you could do structures, which basically, let's see if it shows up well on here. It probably doesn't, you know, different picture for something like that. Change the color warmth. If you want to make it a little bit warmer, a little bit darker. I mean, there are just so many, so many different types of, uh, of effects that you can do. And I'm not a photographer by any means. So when you follow photographers that just do amazing, stupidly amazing things, they really make Instagram look phenomenal. Wow. So once you finish how you want the picture to look, and by and I, I guess I should prelude this, me, my personal Instagram and my business Instagram, I rarely touch the edit. I yes. normally just pick filters. I'm like, hey, this looks kind of cool to me. That's what I'm going to upload. And then I run with it. Yes. Once you figure out what filter you want, you can click next. And this is where you can write your caption. You could put anything you want to in here. Um, you know, hey, look at this new game from our company. Yay. You could put smiley faces. You could do really anything that you want to do or just like yeah. look at it. Look at it right now. <clears throat> I am a big advocate on the next two things, which is ad location and tag people. Okay. Ad location, you're going to want your location on, so your GPS has to be enabled in order for this to work. But adding location... I'm going to put, I'm actually going to go ahead and put my office because that's where I'm at right now. Right. Jared Wade Entertainment. Uh, I have noticed, and I'm sure that there are stats to back it up, but I don't have it in front of me. I have noticed the, the more that I actually put a location, the more, um, the more activity I get on those pictures. People want to know where this stuff is taken at. So the cool thing, though, is to know that even though if you're not where you say you're at, so let's just take that off and I want to go in here and I want to say, you know, I'm in, I don't even know if they have one, NLFX, there you go, right there, NLFX Professional. This photo was taken at NFLFX <laughs> Professional. It doesn't matter if you take these pictures and you do them later, you can still do a search for whatever the location is that you're looking for and then apply it to it. So you could take 15 or 16 pictures with your phone at an event that you're at, but then you want to add those pictures and space them out over the next week. Right. You could still add that location of where you were at later on down the road. So locations I think are very key. Tagging people is something else that I highly encourage. You want to tag as many people in these pictures as you can. And the reason is a couple different. One, Jared Wade Entertainment. One, you're going to be able to get a higher amount of people seeing them because, because I've tagged Jared Wade Entertainment and I've tagged Disc Jockey News, it's going to pop up on other threads as well saying, hey, here's a new picture that came up that has Disc Jockey News involved with it in some form or fashion, okay. which is going to grab your attention and my attention because we were both tagged in there. So you're, you're just spreading the wealth. You're, so I think you're limited to about 30 tags uh, of people, of individual accounts and whatnot. Um, I try to put at least five or six on there. Uh, and it could be related to anything. If my post is wedding related, then I will tag the knot. I will tag wedding wire. I will tag, um, uh, let's see here. I will tag any associations, uh, the, you know, the American Disc Jockey Association or, or whatever else, right. just, just to get it out there and get it spread around. Now, while I'm here, I also want to add one, maybe two hashtags. Now, if you're not familiar with what a hashtag is, a hashtag is like a quick address. That's the, that's, that's the, it's almost like a, a quick filter, if you will. A hashtag normally has something to do with the picture, and it is something that multiple people are using. As an example, um, for my company, I encourage my clients to hashtag pictures that they, you know, them dancing or whatever else, hashtag it with Jared Wade Entertainment. So it's hashtag or pound and then Jared Wade Entertainment, all one word. You don't have to uh, capitalize it if you don't want to. 
I like capitalizing each word simply because it's easier to read. Yes. When you glance at that, you know, oh, there's three separate words right there. Uh, a secondary hashtag that you could do, something that's related to what's happening. So game show might work out really well. Something that's going to grab people's attention. Now, the reason I say only one, two, maybe three at the most hashtags is there's there's been uh, studies, and by studies, I mean, you know, those that are on Instagram a lot more than I am that have, that have found that the more hashtags you put in the initial post, the least, the, the, the fewer amount of actual views you will actually get because it fills it up. People are looking for short snippets. They're looking for something really quick to be able to, to look at. So I'll show you a workaround here in just a little bit uh, to help you get some more hashtags out there in your post. So uh, we've got something written. We've put some faces on there if we want to. We've added a couple hashtags. We've put a location. We've, we've tagged a couple other people. Uh, directly below there, you can share your picture on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Swarm, or Flickr if you want to connect those. Connecting those is very simple. You just click on it, and you give uh, Instagram permission to post on your behalf. Now, Jared, here's a, I got a question for you. I have not yeah. seen uh, Swarm on mine. Is that because I do you have a Swarm app that it's – pull that information from? I do not. I do not. Swarm is a service that I don't use. Um, if it's what I think it is, Swarm, I believe, is, is some sort of a, it's almost like Flickr or Tumblr where it's just a generic photo sharing service. Huh. Um, That's interesting. I don't think I have that on my Instagram. Yeah. If you don't, let me see. Da, 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 da. Swarm dot um, and you know what? We'll just make sure that that's exactly what it is. Uh, I have never used Swarm. I know what Tumblr is. I know what Flickr is. I know what Facebook and Twitter are. Um, but normally they keep all of these the same. Now, again, I'm using an Android device. If you have an, an Apple device. Oh, that could be it, it too. Yep. There's normally, there's normally things that are different between those. Oh, don't do that. All right. So we're going to just go ahead and keep moving forward. Um, if for some reason you want to not publish this publicly to whoever's following you, you can always click direct and you can send it to a very, to send it to a very specific person. So if you just want to send this photo to a specific person that you're following or that you're friends with, all you have to do is click that direct button and you're good. You're solid. You're ready to go. When you've got everything in place, you're going to hit share, which I'm going to do right now. And it'll do its little upload. And then, plata, there it is, socially mobile DJ and TV at NLFX Professional, which is obviously not there because we all know that their warehouses are much larger than this auditorium that this giant thing is held in. So, <laughs> um, and here comes, here comes my workaround to the hashtag. So, when, after you've posted your, your photo to Instagram, you can come down here and, and uh, I'll scoot this down a little bit. The bottom left-hand corner, there's a heart, a little comment icon, and then a, a little arrow. The arrow means if you click that, you can send that Instagram photo or video to a specific person. We're not going to do that. The heart, of course, means, hey, I got a like. I got a like from... Davester 50, Davester 50, mobile disc jockey in the Peel region of Ontario, Canada, specializing in small parties and functions. DJ Davester is Planet Dave Entertainment. Look yeah. at that. All right, Davester, don't forget. Hopefully you're watching right now. Don't forget this is a throwaway account. So I encourage you to uh, follow Disc Jockey News and you can follow me at Jared Wade Entertainment as well. So um, anyway, there's our plug for uh, the what do you put the number in the number for I, i'm a day i'm not i'm not davester 50 yeah -A day and night d s about okay and then he doesn't they don't have a direct button either what direct button so on the uh, when you post a photo, and this actually works for any photo, like I could go down here to Disc Jockey News, mm -hmm. and on the bottom left-hand corner, just above the, the number of likes, there's three little icons, a heart, a comment, and a little arrow. And if you click that arrow... That's the direct he's referring to. 
that well that's where you can forward them to now yeah. the direct in the you when you're initially posting you could also click direct instead of posting the actual picture and i'll show you oh, what that okay, looks okay, like okay okay that's real that's quick where they were at yep so if we're going to send this picture i'm just going through this real quick guys i know um just to the right of where it says followers so below and to the left of share is where you can also click direct if you wanted to send something instead of posting it publicly on your account. So that, so for me, I guess I would classify this being a direct and then this way, basically pulling it up and then hitting the little arrow, that being more of a forward rather than a direct. You are sending it direct, but it's still published publicly versus a private direct message if that if that makes sense to you okay okay so uh of course when you hit the heart that means that you're gonna you're gonna like it uh you can also double tap the picture itself and it'll do a little heart hey oh i love that it's so good we've already got two likes and one of them is is from me how sad is that but I got Davester with me, so we're yeah, good. Dave, Dave is in the chat room with us also. Uh, okay, Robin, good. Robin's wondering if you know Facebook has you know the billions of people and uh, and Instagrams in the millions. You know why a person would go there, or why a person would use it. And I think Jared mentioned, of course, the high percentage of female users. It, that's that's definitely real. Uh, the second aspect, and I think Jared's headed to there, is that the implementation with Facebook gives you some really cool functionality. That, uh, that that you can't overlook. And I'll let you finish that one, Jared, as you get when you get to that point. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, long, long story short on, and I want to make sure I understand the question. She was asking, what's the difference between Facebook well, and why, Instagram? Well, why you would waste the time on Instagram when Facebook has, you know, the, the huge numbers? Oh, that's an easy answer. Because not everybody's on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> True. And, and I, the demographic, I, I, I think, to a point, is uh, Instagram's a younger demographic. It's, it's an extremely younger demographic, and I can, I can wholeheartedly say, and there's plenty of statistics that back me up on this, but there are, I, I want to say, at least with the brides that I've booked, when I say, hey, are you on Instagram? Every single one of them will say yes. Even if they don't check it and use it a whole lot, they say yes. But then if I follow that up with, are you on Facebook? They normally respond with, yeah, kind of. It's just, it, it's not in the forefront of their mind. So it's, it's, it's like what you were saying, John, it, it's not, it's not one of those um, purely demographic type of a thing, but it's, if you want to reach to a certain market more than a de demographic, I, I guess my classification for the market is I, I want not only women for a demographic type of a thing, but I want specific people looking for specific things and this is a visual based system that that reaches out and does that the other thing about about instagram is for my facebook business account i use that to drive long story driven uh interactive engagements my instagram is more disposable so it's there and it's going to be there for a while. It'll be there for a few days. But unless I hit something that's just ridiculously phenomenal and people start sharing it like crazy and a week goes by and they're still sharing it, that's that Instagram is, is like a Instagram is like a Polaroid and your Facebook is like a classic 35 millimeter that you're going to take the picture and then put it in a scrapbook. That's, I mean, that's the biggest difference between the two when I think of it. Sure. So uh, the little comment box, you can go in and you can comment on your own posts. And this is beautiful. Now, here's where it gets a little tricky. And it's not difficult tricky, okay? This is just you're, you're kind of working the system in your favor. So if you put a whole bunch of hashtags on the front end, you will normally get looked over. But if you make a comment and you do five periods – on five different lines. So follow me here. Period. And then enter. I don't want it to send. I don't know why it's saying send. So if this sends, I'm sorry. It is. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. I don't post from Instagram for my tablet a lot. So I have to figure out how to hit return from my tablet, which would have been advantageous for me to do 
beforehand. Oh, come on. Basically, you're going to do five periods on five different lines. And oh, then boy. you can you yeah. can load it up. You can load it up with all kinds of hashtags. So I'll show you real quick. You know what? I'll show you real quick what I do. I jump out. Yeah, uh, I, use, I think to show the uh, connection with Facebook, you're going to have to go to your probably a real. Um, it's actually it's actually not a. Do, 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 there we go. Do. There was one right there down. Second column had a blue one. Oh, is it there? Is it there? Yeah, yeah. there we go. Perfect. So um, it's five periods. One, two, three, four, five. And then after that last period, you can put up to 30 different hashtags. So what I've done is on my phone, uh, depending on what type of phone you have, if you have, if you have an Apple, you can use like their notebook. Yep. Uh, if you have Android, there's all kinds of little note taking apps. But I keep a, a big log of things like this. And depending on what I'm posting, um, I can copy all of this. So I'm going to select all of it, including the periods. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to jump back over to my Instagram. I'm going to paste it. And then I'll hit submit. Okay. Now, what it's going to do is when as you're scrolling through, it's not going to show up as a full comment. Normally, when you get more comments on there, it makes more sense. But you're going to get all the benefits of having all of those hashtags, but it's not going to look cluttered. So if you look at it and you're scrolling through here, you're like, oh, he hashtagged it with Jared Wade Entertainment and hashtag game show. And that was it. No, I actually have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 additional hashtags. So 16 in total, but it still keeps it streamlined and I still get the outreach that I want to reach. Now, that is going to get you some engagement. That's going to get you with some additional likes. That's also going to put give you the ability to use more hashtags than the the standard amount that you really want in this in this uh, initial uh, post. Sure. So that's that's a great little workaround. And as you start to build up your hashtags, and when you start to use more hashtags, and when you start to um, start really building your brand with that specific hashtag, you know, hashtag DJ and TV is a beautiful hashtag. It's short. It's, you know, to the point you can hit it with every post that you do. And then whenever somebody hits that hashtag, like if some, if somebody was scrolling through here and they're like, Oh my gosh, it's Jared Wade entertainment. And they hit Jared Wade entertainment's the hashtag. It's going to pop up every photo, every video that has that hashtag on it. Nice. And they're going to find me through that service as well. So as I continue through and, and you find other things, I'm trying to see if I have any more, you know, uh, and they find this picture and they're like, dude, I really like that end of night shot that they, that he takes with, with the bride and groom. Oh, right there. Hashtag end of night selfie. I'm going to hit that one too. Let's see what else is out there. Oh, look at there's these even more. They're not necessarily just for me. You know, that's not just my hashtag that I own. Uh, but Hashtags are very key in finding additional content that fits that you enjoy. Mm -hmm. So uh, with that, let me see here. So we've talked about pictures. We talked about hashtags. We talked about cool little workarounds. Um, your heart on the bottom, going back down to the very bottom, the little heart icon, yep. uh, that takes you to new likes that you get. Um, whenever you have new engagement, that is that is where it's going to pop up. It's, it's like your, your simplified feed thread where your home is just the new stuff that's coming through. And then your heart is is more aligned with interactions that are happening with your photos and your videos. Uh, and then the final on the very far right is a little person. That person or this area is your profile. These are the pictures that you've taken. Um, if you have saved certain photos. So let's say, Oh, Hey, you, uh, you dirty, yeah. you posted a new Instagram picture. Well, we were, you were, I was looking for that, uh, uh, uh swarm. Or whatever it was. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, the the swarm uh, app. Yeah, and I and I didn't have it. And it's like, well, heck, I'm already that far. So <laughs> now I gotta finish posting it. It's a good post. Are those LED diodes? Yeah, that's that's the uh, the uh, vivid lights. Uh, oh, uh, the shadow box. Yeah, that's what I get for not reading exactly what it says at the very bottom. 
Shame yeah, on me. It's a, a cool, uh, cool little light, actually. That's what I'm using the red light over my shoulder. Is that? Oh, nice. Oh, it's kind of cool now, Jared. Is click on the uh, where I hashtag the vivid light. I was I went and typically it pops up and shows you that there's others. It mm -hmm. didn't do that for me, but now after you mention that and you click on it, it's like, oh yeah, other people have tagged vivid light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and your picture is there. Um, when you click on it, just the top half is the top posts. Once you scroll down a little bit, now you get into the most recent and okay. there's your picture. So you might not be at the very top when you click it instantly, but when you scroll down a little bit, it didn't hit your most recent ones. So, and there's a little video here showing, oh, it's from you. Yeah, that was, that was a while ago. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. John, I'm so proud of you. Yeah. yeah. You're growing up. Uh, on the bottom right-hand corner, bottom right-hand corner, there's a little uh, bookmark. You can bookmark that if you'd like. So then when you go back to your profile, the very, very far bottom right with little person, you have four options. You have this little grid uh, that shows you the pictures that you've gotten it, and then they may, they, uh, you're able to uh, click on them if you want to take a look at them. The next one over, and this is what I'm looking at is directly below where it says Jared Wade. Uh, just to the right of that, uh, you have a, a thread feed. So it's basically just your feed but in a thread format, so you can scroll through there. The next one over is, these are these are photos that were tagged by me or that I am tagged in. So okay. if we go back into this po picture that we made on the, on the bottom left-hand corner, when you tap on it, uh, one time you'll see everybody that is, that is uh, 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 mentioned in it or tagged in it. There's a, it's kind of hard to see. Hopefully you can see it okay uh, on... Oh, my, does my arrow pop up? Yes. Oh, it does. Okay, cool. I didn't know that. That's so neat. All right, so you click on that little person right there. Oh, and I can even interact. That's even awesomer. Uh, click that little person, and you're going to be able to uh, edit. Oh, I'm sorry. You have to click up here, the three little dots. Okay. Those three little dots will open up a... Uh, the ability to turn off commenting if you want it. You can share it. You can copy the URL. I'm going to go to edit. So once I get into edit, now what I'm going to do is I am going to add myself. Socially mobile DJ and TV. I'm going to add myself. So that means I'm tagged in this photo now. I'm going to click the little check mark on the upper right hand corner, which will save it. And now when I go back to this little spot, it'll show the, all of the pictures that I have been tagged in. So you can keep track when you're at a convention and you want to get tagged with some other guys or whatnot. That's the way that you're going to go about doing it. Uh, and then finally, over here is a little bookmark. Anything that you've bookmarked will be saved in that area. So there's, there's you know, the Disc Jockey News uh, picture that we tagged just a little while ago. So if there's something that you really, really like or you want to uh, pull up later, that's how you're going to go about doing that. So um, that kind of covers those four areas up top. Um, let me see. Uh, of course, editing your profile is straightforward. It's exactly as it sounds. You can go through, you can change your username if you want to. You can add a website. You can add a little bio. Um, the website, whatever you put in your website, that's the only clickable URL link that they allow right now. So if you try to put your, your full website in every post, it's not going to be clickable. The right. only clickable URL is whatever's listed right here in your website. Even if you put it in your, well, actually, I think if you put in your bio, that one is clickable as well. Um, but then it just starts getting overloaded a little bit too much. Right. So um, it is encouraged to change and update your bio every once in a while, add something new, um, put a new link to a blog post or whatnot in there and you're in your golden. Um, this is also where your you can change it over to your business account if you would like to. It'll say right there, try Instagram business tools. Um, also, if you go up to the upper right hand corner where the three dots are at right up yep. here, uh, and you scroll down under account, it says switch to business profile right there. And that process is super duper simple. You just walk right through it step by step. 
Um, I'm not going to go all the way through there because I don't want to connect any of my uh, my pages, my Facebook pages. Yep. But that will give you uh, some additional features that you're going to want to use if you're using this for business. If you're using it for personal, of course, you want to keep them separate. But if you're using it for business, that's how you can make your your Instagram uh, account a business profile and gives you some really cool ways to uh, to uh, connect with with uh, other folks and whatnot. So and probably the, the, probably the biggest one is that with a personal page, I have to approve people, and with the business one, they don't have to be approved to follow. I think is uh, one of the big things. Yeah, well, in personal one, you can choose. You can choose to be a private account or a public account. Okay. If you're a public account, then anybody can follow you. Go 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 for it. Uh, like my private account, my personal page is private. They have to request and then I have to allow them to follow me. My business one, it's it. you kind of want to make sure that it's public so anybody can follow you. It's the whole purpose of being a business. So um, now I know that we're getting close on time. I do want to talk a little bit about stories. Mm -hmm. Stories, uh, the easiest way that you can post stories is when you go back to this main home page. So down there at the bottom, the little home screen, um, and then you go up to your story. And you're going to have a few options. And let's see here. How about you can just tap it real quick for a photo. And this is where the fun stuff comes in. You can type whatever you want. Hey, John, exclamation point, lowercase j. You can change the font if you want to. You can change uh, the size of it. You can reposition it. Uh, there's a little drawing tool. So if you really want to get creative with everything, um, there's highlighting tools. So you can highlight certain aspects of it, really kind of just make it look fun and creative, uh, all kinds of random junk that you can do. And uh, they've also started adding in this is for Valentine's Day, of course, but they're they're starting to do more little things like this, like Snapchat does. Don't get too excited. I'm a I'm a happily married man, John. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of love you're sharing there, man. <laughs> I do what I can. I do what I can. You click done. Once you're ready to post it, on the bottom right hand corner, you just hit that little arrow, and uh, it'll it'll post. On the bottom left hand corner, uh, you can click save. I'm gonna go ahead and click save. It'll save my picture, and then I can also click add or your story, and that's where it's going to go. Now, anytime that somebody were to jump into Instagram, they're going to see all the most recent stories populate first. And then as it pops up, it's only going to be there for a little while. It's kind of hard to see, but once it shows up, and then it's gone, and then you're done. When you want to add a new story or add to your story, I'm sorry, there we go. Do, 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 do. Oh, come on. My, my internet is being very weird tonight for some reason. So I apologize, everybody, that this is taking such a long time. But if you want to add more, you can always add more, and then you can always go live. And going live on Instagram is not as great of an option right now as going live on Facebook. Uh, going live on Facebook, you get a massive bump. You get like a 300% increase in visibility. And you get the option of saving your videos. And that's a huge thing for if you have a really good video and you don't want to lose it. Unfortunately, with Instagram right now, once your story is done, you are done. There is no more. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Once your video is done while it's on your story, that's it. It gets deleted. It doesn't even give you the option. Um, it, well, actually, it does. It gives you the option to save it uh, unless you go live. And if you go live, then you can't save it. So okay. I'm sure that's going to change here soon. But for right now, if you go live on Instagram, it does not save. If you post a video to your story and it's not live, but it's a standard video, that is something that you can save and you can allocate to, to use later and uh, do whatever else you would like to do. What's the time length on a live stream with Instagram? Uh, right now, I believe it is just under an hour. I think they're giving they're they're giving more space to celebrities, of course. Right. Um. There we go. So 
you just, when you go into, and if you didn't see what I did in the upper left-hand corner, way up here, there's a camera button. Yep. You click that camera button. And then down here at the bottom, you have different options, live, normal, boomerang. Uh, and boomerang is that thing that I was telling you before where mm -hmm. you press yeah. and hold and it takes the picture, but then it just keeps going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, Hands-free. Basically, instead of having to press and hold the button the entire time, right. you can just click it one time and it's going to record while you're doing something. So if you've got a larger phone, if you have a smaller hand or whatever else, it's recording right now as I'm talking, as you can see it. So once it is done or when I'm done, I can just click stop. Ah, you can actually hear me because yeah. I don't have my volume turned down. There we go. Um, Uh-oh. Did it freeze up? Did my tablet freeze up? Your tablet must have froze. I can still hear you. Okay. Well, maybe the connection when I tried to do it uh, like that decided to play wonky. Yeah. How dare technology fail me? How dare technology well, fail know, we me? Made it, we made it pretty quite a ways through. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the, and the, only, the only thing that we didn't really get to was live. Live, you put it in front of your face, you start, you hit start live video, and then it goes and then does it on its own. So it's not, uh, it's not difficult at all to figure out the live portion because it's all right there. But we've, uh, we've walked through. Davester just did something on his story. <laughs> Boom. There he is. He's rocking his goatee and his glasses. So way to go, Dave. Way to make your first story on Instagram. We'll send you a complimentary sticker set of uh, Valentine's Day stickers that we found for 90% off because it's the gift that keeps on giving. Yep, and it's the, it's February 15th, so we get some great <laughs> deals coming. <You're> right. <laughs> so we talked about how to set up the account. We talked about uh, the uh, most of all of the standard usage in Instagram. We will kind of walk through it hand in hand with you. So if you've never used Instagram before, hopefully after watching this, you have a better idea of how to get it to work, uh, how to, you know, post pictures and videos, how to do all of that. If you watched last week and you liked later, now you know how that whole thing integrates and, and works together one-on-one. -on -one. So, um, yeah, we are getting close to our time frame. Yeah. I know that much. So, uh, was there any other questions that popped up that, I think that we've were been, asked? They've been handling them, either I've been bringing them up, or there have been small things that I've been able to handle here. Um, Sweet. I love it. 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 Um, um, tied to my Instagram. One thing uh, Paul mentions, he, my Instagram is, is tied to my, my business Facebook page, but Instagram only shows three posts from the hundreds. That, yeah. I don't think Facebook pushes to Instagram, does it? It's the other way around. No. Yep. Yep. Facebook does not push because you got to remember Facebook. Facebook is the host. So they want stuff coming to Facebook to them, all the yeah. time. They don't want to push stuff out to everywhere else. They want everything coming to them. So you, uh, you will never see Facebook say, hey, do you want to post to Instagram? They're never going to allow it. They just yeah. won't allow it. You can connect them. So you can post from Instagram to Facebook. And 90% of everything that I post, that's how I post it. I started on Instagram. And then it, you can click a little button once you go to once you make your your account a business account um, down there where it says uh, connected accounts where it has Swarm and Flickr and Facebook and all that. When you designate what page you want to connect your Instagram business account to, uh, which uh, Facebook page you want to connect it to, that Facebook. Uh, icon will change to your business page. So for me on my business account, it says Jared Wade Entertainment. And you can have multiple Instagram accounts on one Instagram uh, app. So I've got my two different, my personal account and my business account all in one app. And I just switch back and forth between them. And they will, once they're set up, they can push to the specific Facebook page. So you can push to your personal. But there's one little little caveat with that is that when you first set it up, sometimes it dumps everything to your personal page. So you have to log out from the Instagram out of, out of the app and then re-log back into the app, especially on an iOS device. Then it worked. And I struggled with oh. that last week. And I went searching and found out that there were many, many people who've had that problem. And because I would just track news, I'd put something up and all of a sudden it's like, why is that showing up on my personal page? Was, is it just iOS apps or I iOS devices? I don't know devices? if it was just iOS, but it was iPhone. A lot of iPhone folks were having struggles with that. So, 
So just a little thing. If it's not working right, but it showed the Disc Jockey News icon there, as Jared mentioned, but it wouldn't push it there. So I had to log out, log back in, and confirm everything, and then boom, it worked again. So I've never had that problem with Android. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, let's see. A question was: um, If you post on Instagram and then choose Facebook and go to the, it goes to the right spot. Uh, they're saying basically the idea is then you only have to post that photo once and it will go. Yep. What it'll do is whatever you put, um, remember when we were talking about keeping the, the main commenting short and sweet, a nice short little sentence, maybe a couple little emoticons and then two, maybe three hashtags, whatever you put in that first area, that comment section and not even a comment, but that description section yep. that will get transferred over to your Facebook uh, post as well. And then unless you tell it to go elsewhere and there's not really any point to do so, all of those pictures are going to go into a folder on your Facebook page uh, labeled Instagram, Instagram pictures. And as long as you want that to keep showing, you, I mean, Facebook's got a plethora of internal settings that will allow you to keep certain things private if you want. But for the most part, if it's a business thing, you want people to see it. So once you post that to your Instagram and you make sure that it it processes to your page it's going to take the picture it's going to take it's going to take everything except for the tags and the location those are the two things that are not going to go at this time they i'm sure that they're going to integrate it more and it's, they're going to make it easier to to do stuff like that but right now it's just whatever text is in there and uh and in the hashtags that's another cool thing about hashtags is they're multi-purpose so whatever you hashtag it in, in in instagram those same hashtags will still work in facebook and you can still do the same searches cool it's wonderful oh it is it is um Paul was asking here, um, then with, with posting and such and po going from Instagram to Facebook, that you have to go into Facebook to uh, set up where it's going to go. And I don't think you need to do that. Once Instagram is connected, it will show you all your different accounts and such on your Facebook page, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Let me, uh, you know what? I will log into my Facebook and I'll show you exactly where it goes on my page. <clears throat> Because I think when, do, 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 do. when I have the app up and we go into those settings which you were showing us earlier on Instagram that I can you can choose to go to your connect to Facebook and then which account do you want this Instagram account to go to because I've got the Disc Jockey News version, I've got the Weekend Handyman version and Weekend Sportsman and they all push to their, uh, their collective or the, their specific Twitter account and Facebook page. Mm -hmm. So when you post... Like like this one, like I literally just posted this a little while ago. Um, it, it came here. It's going to go into a folder called Instagram. So when I go and look, and this is my page, Jared Wade Entertainment. Um, when I go to over here to the left-hand side and under photos, it's going to show all my different photos. Albums, yeah. Uh, or, uh, yeah, albums. And then timeline photos. <laughs> Loading, loading, loading. Oh, the location uh, that Paul that that would not follow the uh, the moving from Instagram to Facebook. That's Correct. one of those two things that Jared just mentioned that won't follow. So, if you wanted to have the location on there, but if you would hashtag say hashtag NLFX Pro, the hashtag will go. It just won't link back to Instagram. It would be just another hashtag on Facebook. Correct. Correct. The, the hashtag will be able to, you'll be able to use that anywhere and everywhere. Now, the last time I looked at this, that's not what I want. I want to go back to albums. The last time I looked at this, it, they put them into Instagram photos. See this one right here. It says Instagram photos. Yep. This is where my pictures were going. Now I haven't looked at this for a while, but it looks. Now it's just doing timeline with you. Yeah, now it's, and I don't know if it's because it's a business or maybe they're just starting to integrate it even more. This is the beauty of social media, my friends, is what I'm telling you right now could change in the next 24 hours because I've taken a lot more than uh, just these specific photos. Definitely but it looks yes. like they're integrating it directly now so it doesn't, it's not separating it out into different, different folders into my, into my Instagram. Here's today's family feud, by the way. Hey, John, name something parents yell at their kids to take their hands out of. 
Their pants. That's like the number, I think, two answer. I haven't posted the official and answers yet. I was going to say, and the other one would probably be out of their mouth. Yep. Yep. I had a lot. Of, I had somebody say nose, uh, VCR, uh, cookie jar. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, but pants. Obviously, pants obviously with pants and, and out of their mouth shows you what my kids. <laughs> <laughs> when you got young kids and they're walking around with a hand in their diaper. I remember those days. It's like, what are you doing? Get your hand out of your diaper. Don't do that. Don't do that. Daddy, I found chocolate. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's not, that's not good. That's not a good thing. Oh, <laughs> funny. So, yeah, it looks like um, if you, when you first set up your account, it, there's a chance that, that your photos could go into your Instagram folder or they could just go straight to your, straight to your timeline. You're not going to know until you make that first post and then you see where it's all going. But for the longest time, it was going to my, it was going to my Instagram folder, but now it's going to my timeline directly, which isn't bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, David had, uh, was wondering about uh, connecting the Dropbox to Instagram so everything does not post automatic. Like you, I, know you can, I, I know you can pull pictures. I mean, on your device, you could take a picture from Dropbox and go that route. You're still going to have to download the photo to your phone and then or up, device. Yeah. yeah. So you could use, like I use uh google drive i use google drive to pull a whole bunch of photos from uh, my account on google drive let me see if i can show you what that looks like real quick oh you might want to actually look at it that would be handy for you so in my google drive folder as you are probably seeing right now there we are. Um, i have I have uh, several different folders that I have in here, but my family feud answers is one of those folders and I can pull up like today's here's the, here's the answers for our survey says number one answer was mouth. Number two answer cookie jar. So pants was actually the sixth. It was way down there. Wow. Way down there. And there's only way, four way, people way. who are tra traumatized <laughs> like I am with my children's children <laughs> hand in their pants. But yeah, you have to, you have to download that photo to your device and then go to Instagram because there's no way that Instagram has an integration service that you can pull it from someplace else. Right. You can do it live if you want to. You could take a picture right now um, from, your, from your device. Hi. Or you could take a video, of course, but your gallery, the only place that your gallery is going to pull photos from is, from, is from, yep, directly from your phone. Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, the point of the hashtag is, um, as, as we kind of showed a little bit earlier, is that once you hashtag something, that people can click on that hashtag, and that's one way that Instagram can kind of sort information, short, sort posts. So if you can go to any number of the Disc Jockey News uh, photos and click on some of those hashtags, and if you're like Den and DJ, it's a very popular hashtag for some folks. You click on that, and if we were one of the more recent ones, it will show up fairly fairly close to the top. Yep. Yep. If it's a good looking photo or if it's recent, you're going to show up towards the top. Um, you can also search online. There's several different online resources that show you popular hashtags. Um, you can put in like what field or what industry that you're in and it will, it'll populate. Hey, these are very popular hashtags nice. that people are using right now. Um, they'll, there are even some that will focus on specific regions. So here in Indianapolis, um, if they're topical, if, you know, when the presidency and then and the elections were going on, there were very specific hashtags that were very, very popular. And a lot of people through those hashtags into their posts just to get visibility just to see you know what kind of people they could get to, to come see their their picture so if you post anything on instagram you need at least one or two hashtags yeah. it's going to help your post get out there and get showing um, hashtags i encourage every bride and groom to have one because everybody's taking pictures with their phones and you want to be able to trace it back to to what's going on for sure or to, 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 to the events that happen yeah, so exactly 
Good stuff. We're going to wrap things up here, gang. We're past our hour time. Jared, great stuff. Thank you very much for the information. And, and I learned a few things. I actually downloaded a couple of those little assistant apps there for Instagram. So I'm going to yeah. play with those. Yeah. Nice stuff. Yeah. Well, next week, I'm excited about coming back. If you guys will let me come back. I'm glad to hear that people are kind of sticking around and asking questions. Thank you so much for doing that. Um, if you guys have a specific social media or mobile service or app or anything like that, that you kind of want to get some more information on reach out to john reach out to me let us know what you would like to to kind of see these shows have in there uh because these shows are for you guys we want you guys to learn and grow and become better at what you guys do already um but uh yeah the the mobile world is the future and i just want to help you guys uh and ladies prepare to uh to meet that uh, running and uh yeah so so thanks for thanks for watching yep you guys have yourself a great evening and a great week and we'll see you next monday night good night everyone uh -huh.